Okay, now I'm going to do a support so the disk doesn't touch the end, which is pretty easy. Just modify the motor mouse and put some legs on it. If I project further around, have an office, have a camera, make it look sexy. It's pretty easy. Just do an art. Okay. And I can turn it. And then we'll draw a straight line across the ground. And we'll draw another in the end too. Awesome. Okay. Um, what I should do is make the center of this point vertical to the center of that one. That way, during an impact, the force goes directly straight to the ground and doesn't transmit field of views at all. And, and hmm. Do we make this fit? Hmm, this could be like a third. It doesn't look very aggressive. Can we make this like a uh, 150? It's almost put up with a pointy tail on it. Hmm. Um, and we make this come. Um, from there about 40 and about 150 as well, it doesn't need to be like that. So that's what the leg looks like. So one thing I think if I have just a pointed toe on it like that, I'm driving around, but I get dug into the wooden floor and then drive through. I know we all want wedges on the bottom, but mm, I'd rather drive rather than get stuck in the floor. So I might put a little angle up here, come out, and go to the other like that, and put a little pointed toe. We can make that 45 degrees. Make that about 6. Technically, the half six more ground clearance like that. And it still looks kind of aggressive. I'm doing that here. We make this about 25 long. And the same here be around about 30. And now an inverted point where you are and you point at the toe, you're watching it do. Makes it look a bit more scary. And what I need is one up here on the other side. So I'll just redraw all this up here. So that it works the same when inverted. There we go. There's my two support legs for the disc. One for normal, one for inverted. Let's see what that looks like on the, on the robot. So we'll just open up this motor mount coil. Update it. And let it add the legs to the extrusion. It's kind of strange. Let's add some fillets on it just to make it a bit more sexy. So it looks like it could end up being quite heavy. We'll worry about weight later. Yeah. Looks 
And we move on to the other side, which will be pretty easy. We'll just project through all those lines except for the moment. I'm just saying, I'm going to do a new sketching part for the other nut side of the um, disk nut. Which should be fun. There we go. It almost looks like a thing, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. There's not much left to do from the looks of it. Well, not much, thank you. I'd have to reduce some weight out of this bastard. I have a feeling she's a bit heavy. I'll just check. And that's already 11 kilo. As you can see, there's quite a lot of holes we need to put in it too. We need to find somewhere to put the batteries in there. There's plenty of space around it to figure out where the stuff's going to go. And you don't need to think two dimensionally, you can put the batteries under the robot if you want. I'll just save it and it should go and do my homework. 